In June of 2009, the Filipino motorist was introduced to the second-generation Toyota Prius Hybrid Electric Vehicle. Toyota Motor Philippines took a big gamble when they did that because the local market was still very much unaware of what a hybrid electric vehicle was really for. Thus, there was still no compelling reason for local motorists to buy a hybrid. But now, 10 years later, the impact of global climate change has been undeniably felt and climate scientists around the world have been the blame on the transport industry and its insatiable appetite for fossil fuels as among the human activities most responsible for hastening the climate phenomenon. Since 2009, many other car manufacturers introduced their own versions of hybrid and full electric vehicles in the country. And now that Filipinos are much more aware of hybrid vehicles and their purpose, the Prius stands as a prime example of Toyota's foresight and proactive stance in promoting a sustainable and environment-friendly motoring. Today, Toyota Motor Philippines is hosting its first hybrid electric vehicle technology conference in the Philippines. And it couldn't have chosen a more appropriate place than the Grand Hyatt Hotel here in Bonifacio Global City. So let's check out what's happening inside. Our momentous gathering today is made possible by the mutual support and understanding of several parties whose work continuously shape and influence the future of our nation. As we face rapid changes in the global automotive landscape, there is mounting pressure for manufacturers to be more conscious on the ripple effect of their decisions when it comes to environment, natural resources, and energy conservation. In response, Toyota is committed to spearheading a green movement, as seen in its initiatives from the global, regional, and local levels. XEV development can provide an opportunity for us to leapfrog to the fourth industrial revolution and allow further diversification of locally available fuels toward the realization of sustainable mobility in the country. In 2015, Toyota announced the Toyota Environmental Challenge 2050, or TEC 2050. We aim to go beyond zero CO2 emissions and achieve a net positive contribution to reduction of harmful greenhouse gases. Toyota takes sustainability seriously. It has always been and will continue to be a core commitment of our organization at every level. For 30 years, 
Toyota's business in the Philippines continue to increase through TMP. The Philippines is home to one of Toyota's manufacturing bases in the region. We take seriously our responsibility to protect our host nation through sustainable business practices as we grow our business under the principles of always better cars, always better lives. To manage the important balance between environmental protection and economic progress, the only way to move forward is to make mobility sustainable by aiming for a more efficient, safer and cleaner transportation. We believe that responding to the diversified energy sources such as biofuel, electricity and hydrogen will lead to proper energy mix. In other words, the use of energy sources should truly match the energy situation in each country. There is much cause for optimism because the solutions are known and proven to be effective based on the experiences of other countries. We need the help of all sectors, government, vehicle manufacturers, even the public to make these work. I hope that together we can make low carbon transportation a reality in the Philippines so we can bring blue skies back to our cities. Thank you and good morning. Driving around in a Prius or in any hybrid electric vehicle is one great step towards lessening our carbon footprint. But if you really want to go all out and make one big impact on the planet, your health, and on all the Earth's defenseless and suffering animals, then go on a plant-based diet and lifestyle. And then drive around in a Prius to promote your beliefs. <laughs>